Today we are doing problems on random variable. We consider a question. The problem is a coin is tossed three times. Find the probability distribution of the number of heads obtained. Hence obtain the distribution of distribution function of x. We know. We consider the tossing of a coin three times so that we can write the sample space which is the set of all possible results of the experiment. Okay. And, uh, uh, and the sample space consists of two cube. The, the coin is tossed three times. Okay. So that there are two cube that is equal to eight outcomes in the sample space. So let us consider the sample space. Sample space S equal to sample space S equal to that is we consider this as H H H H H T now H T H H T T T H H T H T T T H T T H and T T T. There are eight outcomes in the sample space. Firstly, I have considered the tossing of a coin to to uh, twice so that H H H T T H and T T. Now I have written H H H with H H H with the T etc. So and so in order. Okay. So that H H H T T H T T is the sample space of uh, tossing a coin two times, and I have added H and T uh, for each outcome. So that I have in any case we have to write uh, write uh, eight outcomes. So that in order I have written this. Now X, what is X? Let X be the number of heads of change. Number of heads. Okay. So that therefore x takes the value 0, 1, 2, 3. Now what is the probability distribution? The probability for each of this x gives the probability distribution as a table. So that hence we can write the probability distribution. Hence the probability distribution of x is we write it in the form of a table. So that x takes the value 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. x takes the value 0, 1, 2, 3. And corresponding to each x we write the probability f of x. This f of x is the probability x equal to x. f of x gives the probability x equal to x. So that f of x equal to probability x equal to x gives the probability distribution. So x equal to 0 means that t, t, t is the outcome. So that its probability is 1 by 8. Okay. x equal to 1 means only 1 hit. So t, a, t, h, t, h, t and uh, h, t, t are the outcome. So 3 by 8 is the probability. Okay. x equal to 2 means there are two heads that is h, h, t, h, t, h and t, h, 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 t, h, t, h and t, h, h are the outcomes. So again 3 by 8. Okay, again 3 by 8. And uh, H, 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 the outcome X equal to 3, that is 1 by 8. When we write the probability distribution, we have to check whether the conditions for probability are satisfied. All these are non-negative first and the total should be equal to 1. Okay, so that 1 plus 3, 4 plus 3, 7 plus 1, 8 is the, uh, 8 by 8 equal to 1 is the total probability. That is, this uh, the distribution of x is obtained as this one okay now we know the prob the distribution function of x distribution function which gives the probability distribution function of x it is defined as capital f of x so equal to probability x less than or equal to x 
and this f of s ranges from 0 to 1 and we have to define this capital F of s for all legs in the interval minus infinity to infinity right for all legs in the interval minus infinity to infinity and we know this is a discrete random variable uh, as it stays only finite number of values and hence we have already defined this function distribution function probability uh, density function etc and uh, this satisfies uh, and for a discrete random variable its distribution function is a step function okay its distribution function is a step function so that uh, for x uh, here the values are 0 1 2 3 so that for x less than 0 this capital f of x equal to 0 okay for x less than 0, capital F of x equal to 0. And the next value is 0 plus 1 by 8 equal to 1 by 8. For 0 less than or equal to x less than 1. One step probability is added in each case. And for the next value, this, this function is, this probability is, 1 by 8 plus 3 by 8 equal to 4 by 8. For x ranges between 1 less than or equal to x less than 2. Okay. 1 less than or equal to x that is any value. For any value uh, from 1 up to 2 this is the one, uh, 4 by 8. And the next is. We write this as 2 less than or equal to x less than 3. And this function is 4 by 8 plus 3 by 8 equal to 7 by 8. And the last value is 7 by 8 plus 1 by 8 equal to 1. x greater than or equal to 3. Okay. For all legs, uh, for, for all legs greater than or equal to 3. This takes the value 1. So that capital F of x equal to 0 for x less than 0 and uh, for 0 less than or equal to x less than 1 capital F of x equal to 1 by x and for 1 less than or equal to x less than 2 capital F of x equal to 4, uh, 4 by x. For 2 less than or equal to x less than 3 we, uh, we obtain this probability as from 4 by 8 plus 3 by 8. For, for uh, we add the probability x equal to 2. Okay. And uh, the 7 by 8 plus 1 by 8 equal to 1. For x greater than or equal to 3. We add one step probability in each case. And we define this function from minus infinity to plus infinity for all less. And this takes the value 0 and 1 both including. Okay. This is capital F of x. The distribution function of x. Which is defined as probability x less than or equal to x. Now this problem is over. We consider the next question. Next problem. Okay. So, the problem is, we have to obtain the probability distribution of x of the sum of numbers obtained when two dice are thrown. Probability distribution of the sum of numbers obtained we, uh, when two dice are thrown. When two dice are thrown, we can write the sample space. Okay, when two dice are thrown. We write the sample space as sample space S equal to. It becomes the set 1, 1 up to 6, 6. In order we write 1, 1, etc. up to 1, 6. 2, 1, etc. up to 2, 6. 3, 1, etc. up to uh, 3, 6, etc. up to 6, 1, etc. up to 6, 6. Okay. This is the sample space when two dies are thrown. And we have defined x as the, let x be the sum of numbers. Let x be the sum of numbers. Sum of numbers. Therefore, we know as for 1, 1, the outcome 1, 1, the sum equal to 
therefore x takes the value to uh, 3 etc up to 12 okay as 6 6 is the last one 6 6 is the last one in order i have written 1 1 up to 1 6 the first die shows the number 1 and 1 1 up to 1 6 the first die shows the number 2 as the second row etc as the sixth row 6 1 etc up to 6 6 so the sum takes um, the sum is the sum is 2 up to 12 okay hence we write the probability distribution Hence, the probability distribution of x is, we have to write the probabilities as well. We have to write the values of x and the probability x equal to x. Okay, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have to write all these probabilities. Okay, that is x equal to two means uh, the the outcome is one one out of this thirty six outcome. So only one by thirty six is the probability. X equal to three means one two and two one. So that two by thirty six. X equal to 4 means 1, 3, 2, 2 and 3, 1, 3 by 36. X equal to 5 means uh, 4 by 36 will be the probability 1, 4, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, 1. X equal to 6 means, X equal to 6 means 1, 5, 2, 4, 3, 3, 4, 2 and 5, 1 that is. 5 by 36. Okay. And x equal to 7 means 1, 6, 2, 5, etc. Okay. So that's 6 by 36. x equal to 8 means 2, 6, 3, 5, 4, 4, 5, 3, 6, 2. That is 1 less. That is 5 by 36. x equal to 9 means uh, x equal to 9. 3, 6. 4, 5, 5, 4, 6, 3. That is again, again what happens? 1 less that is 4 by 36. Now 3 by 36. Uh, uh, what are the outcomes? 3 by 36. 4, 6, 5, 5 and 6, uh, 6, 4. That is 3 by 36. X equal to 11 means 5, 6 and 6, 5, 2 by 36. X equal to 12 means only 6. 6 is the outcome 1 by 36. So probability. So this total should be equal to 1. Let us check. 1 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 4, 5, 10 plus 5, 15 plus 6, 21 plus 5, 26 plus 4, 30 plus 3, 33, 35, 36 by 36. The total equal to 1. Okay. So, this is right. That is, we have obtained the probability distribution of x where x is the sum of numbers when two dice are thrown. Simply, we have to, uh, here in this case, we can write the sample space and we define x. Now, we write the values of x. Now, we obtain the probability at each x. So, this table gives the probability distribution of x. Okay. So, this problem is over. Now, we consider the next one. The next one is, uh, similarly, we obtain the probability distribution. The problem is, if x is the number of 6s obtained, when two dice are thrown, find the probability distribution of x. Also obtain the distribution function of x. Here also, we write the probability distribution. Now, what is x? x is defined as the number of 6s obtained, when two dice are thrown. Here also, we have to consider the sample space. We have already have written. Uh, in this case, the sample space. So, justly, I will mention it as the sample space is the uh, set of all possible results. So, from 1, 1. So, from 1, 1 up to 6, 6. Okay. 
sample space S is the set of okay from one one up to one six etc two one up to two six etc up to six one etc up to six six. So here we have defined. Here we have defined x as the number of sixes obtained. X as the number of sixes obtained. So what about x? There are outcomes. We have a no six. Okay, that is uh, for one one. There is no six. That is x takes the value zero. And there are outcomes one six etc six one one six two six three six four six five six. Similarly, six one six two six three six four six five. That is x takes the value one for ten outcomes. Now what happens? X takes the value two. X takes the value two for only six six. Okay. So that we can obtain the probability distribution of x. Hence, the probability distribution of x is x takes only three values. Okay, x zero, one, two, and f of x, which gives the probability x equal to x. X equal to zero means there are one one up to one five, two one up to two five, etc. Five one up to five five. So five into five, twenty five by thirty six is the probability x equal to zero. Okay. Now for x equal to one, we have obtained it as ten by thirty six. Okay. Ten uh, by thirty six, one six, etc. Up to two uh, five six. Six one etc. Up to six five. That is ten by thirty six. Now what does uh, x equal to two only outcome? X equal to two uh, corresponds to six six. So that one by thirty six. Hence the probability distribution of x is for x equal to zero probability is two by twenty five by thirty six. For x equal to one it is one by thirty six. Uh, sorry, ten uh, by thirty six. For x equal to two it is one by thirty six. Now the distribution function of x is. Let me write here. The distribution function of x. It is the function capital F of x, which is defined as distribution function of x is. Okay, it is defined as capital F of x. Which gives the probability x less than or equal to x. So we have to define this function for all less ranging from minus infinity to infinity. That is, capital F of x takes the value zero for x less than zero. Takes the value zero for x less than zero. Now for zero less than or equal to x less than one. It is zero plus twenty five by thirty six equal to it gets twenty five by thirty six. We add at each step we add a simple probability. Okay. Now the next terms uh, the range is from we add twenty uh, five by thirty six plus ten by thirty six. That is twenty five by thirty six plus ten by thirty six. Equal to thirty five by thirty six. That is, we add probability x equal to one in this step. Okay, so it gives it gives thirty five by thirty six for all less ranging from one less than or equal to x less than two up to two. This is the value of capital F of x. Now, thirty uh, five by thirty six. Plus one by thirty six equal to thirty six by thirty six, which is one for all less greater than or equal to two. Hence, we have defined for all less ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity. Okay, and this capital F of x takes the value zero to one zero, both including that is we have zero less than or equal to. 
zero less than or equal to capital A form of x less than or equal to one. Okay, zero less than that is the first value is zero and the last value equal to one. Okay, this is the distribution function which is defined as capital A form of x and we obtain this function using the probability density function small a form of x. In the discrete case, we can also name it as probability mass function of x. Okay? Okay. Thank you very much.